Hey friends, welcome back to the community, the perfect time to thrive community. This, this is the Mastermind Friday. I can't wait uh, uh, for Fridays to share some great ideas, the masterminding. Okay, within this, uh, I started a series about resilience. Be resilient series. And uh, this is uh, uh, the next part, part three, and we will talk about some really great uh, really good thoughts about resilience, okay? But before we dive into it, let me ask you something. Uh, have you ever felt that you need an extra strength to cope with the circumstances much easier? Have you ever felt that you need extra energy, you need, you need some strength to step up more efficiently? I guess the answer is yes. Well, I understand you, I was there many times. And I am there and I'll be there, so it's, that's life, right? We must be resilient. Okay, so this is part three. Why is resilience important? Why is it so important that we talk a lot about it? Uh, I got it together some points. Uh, the first one is, uh, what is resilience? It's, uh, it's an ability to cope and recover from, from setbacks. It's very important. It can very often happen in life, right? Like the circumstances are changing just like this. So we have to cope with it. The second part is when you have psychological resilience, you can use your skills and the strengths to respond to life's challenges much easier. Uh, it's like you don't fall into despair. This is the third point and you can cope with it. You don't, you, you're, you don't have to hide yourself from the issues. You can face them and solve them. Number four, when you are resilient, you can use healthy, healthy coping skills to deal with the circumstances. And number four, when you are resilient, you can use, uh, you can use tactics. You can use uh, easier practices to deal with this. So, if you just get them together, pack them together, let's see number one. It's an ability to cope with the circumstances. Second one is you don't fall into despair. You can cope with the circumstances using your psychological uh, ability, your psychological resilience to cope with it. Uh, if you are resilient, uh, it's much healthier to go with the changings. It's much easier, much healthier. And for the last, but not least, uh, you can handle the problems much more efficiently. So if we are resilient, we have resilience, it's healthier, easier, much more effective. We don't fall into despair. We can cope, we can deal with the very quickly changing circumstances. So that's my friend, my friends, that's the solution. Let's be resilient. I hope you had a really great week. You will have a lovely weekend. And next week, next Friday, we will continue with the Be Resilient series. And don't forget, be resilient. Ciao.